Lastly, I want to leave you guys with a few tips around how to find the tools to help you leverage the actual content creation itself. So the first, I already mentioned it, but a Google Calendar. I'm a, which jumping in here, I'm a very firm believer that you do not have to pay for a lot of things in order to make it happen. Uh, there are so many free resources and tools available to you right now in this marketing and branding world that you should just take, like just take it. Google has so many applications that you can just use, so many, right? And that's just where I tend to have a lot of my stuff, but you've got your Google, where you can have your Google Docs that I mentioned to track all your notes, all your ideas, everything. You've got your calendar, right? Create the calendar, color code it, make it look different. Uh, for me personally, my videos are yellow. My tweets and my content on like LinkedIn are blue. My podcast episodes are purple. Like just color code it. It's super easy. Don't pay for some software to help you figure all that out. Uh, also, hop on Canva. Everyone should know about Canva by now. That's Canvas without the S. Canva is completely free. You can pay for a version of it to get you know some more uh, you know, different like graphics and fonts and pictures and all that. That's its own thing. It's nice, but it's certainly not a must have. Canva is a great place for you to go to create simple graphics. Uh, at first, I used it a lot for, you know, the inspirational, the backdrop graphics where you got, you know, the mountainside talking about how great you are as a business owner. That's a good place to start. But what I actually found a lot of resource in Canva with, and as I say, this, this will grow old because they will continue to add to it and build it. But I love it from the sense of the carousels. The carousels that you can make on Canva, keeping the same theme, the brand, the text, the font, like all of it. It's perfect. I love it. And there's hundreds and hundreds of templates that you can use and grab, add in your colors, add in your fonts, do have some sort of congruent branding. That is one perk of having the Canva, like the pro membership, is you can have a branding guide. That is critical. Anything you make pictures of or create that has like a visual component, it should look pretty much the same, right? Same colors, fonts. Um, a lot of times you're going to want to have the same layouts, like branding is important. But yeah, Canva is a good place to go. Another one is Facebook Business Suite. Plan your content out on your Google Calendar, but then when you create it, actually schedule it on Facebook Business Suite. Okay, uh, this would just be for Facebook itself and Instagram, and there are some rules around what you can and can't schedule in advance. So uh, this is one to take with a slight grain of salt because for some of you, it's not worth it to create simple graphic posts on Instagram or content posts on Facebook. It's okay, it might not be. In that case, don't waste your time with the business suite. But if your business and if your compliance especially has a hand in this, they require you to get it pre-approved, that they wanna have everything either recorded or uh, it needs to be like a graphic itself, it can't be a video, that's where you can leverage the business suite. And then YouTube. So I, uh, I use YouTube for two different purposes. The first of which, what everyone else uses it for, right? That's where I post my videos. That's where I post my content to get the views. But what I actually first started using YouTube for is a, uh, it's a perk that I don't think a lot of people really use enough. As I'm talking right now, right? I've got the microphone set up. I've got the camera set up. It's recording me visually, audibly. The words that I say, as long as I upload that video to YouTube, I can re-download the transcript of everything I just said, and then I can turn my words into type posts. That's huge. You could talk in front of a camera for 10 minutes, five minutes, even three minutes, and then retype everything you said, or you can say it on the camera download it, you'll have to edit it, change some wording around, add some commas, periods, etc. But it's multi-purposing your content and YouTube is really good at that. So those tools to be clear, the five simple free tools that I recommend for creating your content, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Facebook Business Suite, Canva, and YouTube. Now the last piece of advice that I would give to any advisor or any agent, uh, broker, CPA, whatever. The last piece of advice when it comes to creating content 
is to scan websites and just look for the relevant content. There's so many things that you can do. Just uh, I'm forgetting the website off the top of my head, but hopping on Google and just looking at what's getting the most clicks. Go to Yahoo Finance, go to Forbes, go to any uh, Investopedia is a really good one actually, but go to any website you tend to actually look at a lot when it comes to financial news. What is What are they posting? They're spending the time doing a lot of the research to see what's going to drive the most traffic. Let them do the hard work, the stuff that actually takes a true expert to find. You just look at what they're posting. That becomes your ammunition. If you see Yahoo Finance post this big article around inflation and interest rates, well, you read it this morning, which let's say it came out same day, you should have a simple post around inflation and interest rates ready to go at least by the next week if not by that day. If you've got a staff member that you can delegate this to, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Business is won by speed and trust. Okay, trust is hard to build over content creation, but getting the content out there is all about speed. The faster you get it out there, the faster, I'm sorry, the faster you get it out there, the more impactful it's gonna be in search engine. So um, I also did a full uh, piece of this on a previous episode talking about where to find and streamline content. Uh, specifically written content. Make sure you check that out as well. There's some more, uh, actually a lot more tips and advice in that. So anyway, anyways, guys, the marketing ca- uh, calendar is different than your content calendar. Do not get them confused. Lean into the content calendar as your place to copy, paste, and post content regularly. Okay, Pre-schedule it out as much as you can. Create the graphics, create the posts when you're inspired. And then find an accountability partner to not only hold you to it, but maybe you pay them to help you, okay? When you've got skin in the game, you're gonna be a lot more committed too. 